What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and today we have finally some more Smash Brothers news. I know a lot of you dudes have been waiting for me to do Smash related stuff like hey man you're doing all the Splatoon coverage, all the Fire Emblem stuff. Obviously we want to see some more Smash Brothers. So we have an interesting topic to talk about today and it's in regards to DLC. Now some people were saying that on the Smash website you could see obviously there were only two slots left after Roy, Lucas, and um, Ryu came into the game. Some people were speculating that that might mean there's only two more character spaces left for the game but from a statement that was made by Sakurai today uh, I don't know if that's the case. So let's go into the news article right now actually. As you guys can see, this guy Puppet Iwata showed me this, so shout outs to you my friend. This will be linked in the description of all the videos as I usually do, but um, we definitely have to check this article out. So um, Daddy talks more about DLC and says it's going to be fan service and several more characters. So let's go into this right now. Source Gaming. I've never seen this place before, but um, they look pretty damn legit. So let's see exactly what's going on here. So. Okay, so here we go, guys. I managed to find the part of the article where it does actually talk about Sakurai with the whole DLC thing with the ballot, so let's go into this right now. This whole thing, apparently, is a translated section of an article from Famitsu, and some of you guys may not know this, Sakurai usually does a Famitsu article in which he answers questions or gives information on Smash Brothers, one or the other, so here's where the paragraph starts from what we can perceive to be an expected DLC announcement. So, um... What left an impression on me when, when developing Roy was recording his lines. He was the same voice actor from Melee. It, it, and to be honest, it sounded like Roy's lines were ripped exactly from Melee. Like, it sounds like they didn't change anything, but they had the same voice actor come through, so that's why it sounds so akin to the original. Um, even though I've been 10 years here, remember the details from the recording session from Melee very well, such as the names of the characters, and even the other characters, the popular voice actor who's done countless projects since then, I was happy that Smash left an impression on him. Anyways, okay, so here we go. There was a fighter ballot on the official Smash Brothers for Wii U and 3DS website. We received an extremely large number of votes, but of course Lucas, Roy, and Ryu were developed even before the ballot was created. I had a grasp on their popularity and demand though. From now until the end, it is going to be fan service. From now until the end. So Sakurai no longer has any more characters planned to be in the game for himself. So anything that's going to be implemented as a DLC character now will be from the ballot itself, which means Wolf isn't going to be into the game. Although Sakurai has lied to us once many times before, um, excuse me, I said he lied to us once many times. Sakurai has lied to us plenty of times before. We all know this as a fact. So maybe the other characters could be coming along in DLC. Wolf not being included though kind of stings considering that they bought back pretty much every single cool clone from the original games, but Wolf himself I feel bad for my nigga Shofu right now, man. Free Wolf doesn't look like it's happening unless he gets into the ballot. And I doubt that's going to happen because even though Wolf is a, a valued um, veteran, people love Wolf for a lot of reasons and I don't even think he was all that clony to be honest. His moves had really different attributes. In fact, I feel like Wolf was one of the most standout clones of every single character, so much so that he doesn't even count as a clone character. He was his own individual, unique, characteristic um, person to play as. But um, what I was going into actually with that statement is that you're probably going to use a ballot vote slot for a character that's probably never even been expected to be in Smash. Somebody who's most likely third party, who's going to have some really unique attributes, and to be honest with you guys, I feel like that's definitely the best way to go because we don't want to, we don't want, it's not like we'll waste a slot voting on a character that's a veteran, but we could get something so innovative. We can use this ballot slot vote to get a character into Smash Brothers that is extremely unique, and I like that idea a lot better than just bringing somebody old back in. Um, let me see here. So he said from now until the end it's going to be fan service, but I cannot keep the development team together forever. Oh my god, daddy! Here we go once again, daddy Sakurai giving us some, some downtrodden news saying I cannot keep the development team together forever. So there's only going to be several more characters. Is he potentially lying to us just to make us feel like there's going to be a limit on how much DLC we're going to get? He always does something like this to try to make it so that any content that we get will be from a rare perspective. But in reality, he lied about DLC in the first place. Remember when he said DLC was not going to be with Smash Wii U and 3DS? Obviously, that was a lie. So, um, I don't know. I feel like if he de ever did need to do DLC in the future, he could just hit up the development team and be like, um, when you get time from your projects, could you help work on mine? Although I guess the real world doesn't really work like that, because a lot of times I guess these developers would be busy with something else, so you know, they wouldn't be able to jump on ship with Smash Brothers DLC right away. Maybe he can plan it with them ahead of time, I don't know, but either way, this is kind of downtrodden news, man. Um, there's only going to be several more characters. 
I also ask you for your patience as we need time to develop more content. So he says that there's going to be no more content from him, only from the fans, but then he says we need more time to develop more content. Maybe he means more content in the terms of the ballot, but I don't know. That, 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 that wording is a little strange, Daddy Sakurai. This dude's pulling our heartstrings all over the place. Hard to tell exactly where he's coming from with this, but basically that was where this article, this video rather, was centered on. Him and his approach with future DLC, with fan-made DLC, excuse me, not fan-made DLC, um, fan service DLC, the ballad and whatnot. What do you guys think of this? Sakurai says there's no more characters coming from him on his part. So that means no more Wolf, no more Snake. These guys will have to get voted in through the ballot. And since we have a ballot vote to use now, where do you think it's going to be the most valuable place? With a unique third-party character or bringing back a veteran? I personally vouch for the first option of the two. I, I, I really want to see an interesting third-party character brought in here, but um, it's up to the votes of the world, I guess. You know, I really wonder what the status is. He definitely won't let us know in terms of what character has the most votes or not. To be honest with you, even when the ballot closes in October, I highly doubt Sakurai is going to let us know who won the ballot. There's no one that really knows for a fact how many votes for what character were done. People can host their own individual um, surveys, maybe asking people, like a large group of people, who did you vote for? But we really don't know what in God's name is inside that ballot box over at Sora. So, I mean, it could be anything at this point. I don't know. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.